Bushu, Kinemagi and Nana Ireland Edition of Cast, and welcome back to today's technology lesson. Our episode today comes from 21 Things for Students. Basics Quest 1, Navigation. We begin within our Google Classroom under the technology topic. Today's 21 for Things Basics Quest 1. You see our objectives. I can confidently navigate the 21 Things for Students website. I can expand a drop down box. I can control my computer's volume and I can download a file. You're going to watch this video, what you're watching right now. You're going to click on the link. You're going to work through the introduction in, in Quest 1 navigation. And then you're going to share your checklist with me at mireland at sidechipschool.net. That's how I keep track of your progress. Let's go over to the website here under basics. And let's play this little video here. Welcome to a new school year class. My name is Mr. T and this class is about the basics of using computers. Yes, and what is your name? By the end of the week, I will know all of your names. My name is Willis. Mr. T, I know a lot about computers. I don't think I need to take this class. Well, Willis, here are a few of the things we will be covering. Navigating the 21 Things for Students website, screenshots and image capture, shortcuts, parts of the web browser, Typing skill improvement, how to create a safe password, email, and email etiquette. Can anyone tell me a shortcut for copying and pasting things into a document? Can you tell me how to find the history of where you have been on a browser? And can you type 35 words per minute without a mistake? Uh, maybe I will stay here. Mr. T? Yes. I know a shortcut on my Chromebook that lets me see two documents at the same time on the screen. That's wonderful. When we get to the shortcuts, would you be willing to show everyone? Sure. How many of you have some way to communicate with others in addition to calling them on the phone? Please tell us what you are using. I use my mom's Facebook account. I use I am whatever that is. I use my brother's Twitter account. I have an email account my dad made for me. Well, most of the world has an email account, and so will you by the time you are 13. We will be talking about the etiquette for communicating with others using your digital devices, like computers, tablets, or cell phones. Oh, time's up. I look forward to getting to know each of you this year. We will have a lot of fun using the computers on the quests and 21 things for students. See you tomorrow for our first quest. Welcome. The objective of the basics quest is to build important technology operations, skills, vocabulary, and an understanding of using computing devices. There are eight main quests and three gold quests that are included for those wishing additional resources. Learning object objectives. When you have completed this thing, you will be able to navigate the 21 Things for Students website, understand basic technology operations, understand my school's acceptable use of technology policy, know how to improve keyboarding skills, and understand basic email etiquette and safety. You'll notice that there are four Quest right up here, focusing on learning to navigate this page, capture your screen, use shortcuts and tips using a web browser. Um, I strongly encourage you to focus on when it gives you the choice, the Chrome web browser, as that is part of our Chromebook. Quest 5 to 8 have activities to help you improve your computing knowledge and skills. And there are some gold quests, those wishing to explore additional basic activities. And we'll get to those as we go through here. You'll notice that there is a check um, learning objective slide. There's a teacher's guide. You never want to print this whole page, ever. Um, and there's checklist directions, and I'm going to click there for just a, a moment. 
It says make a copy of the checklist for your own use. So when you get to it, you're going to want it with your name. Um, I do want you to use one and then you'll save it in your Google Drive and at the end you'll end up sharing it with me. So let's look at the first one, navigation. So there will be an introduction that will be coming up in just a moment. Some I can statements and you should be familiar with those from within our classroom. Some key vocabulary. Then you see that there are expandable menus here. Like you've been able to use one. Uh, there's a navigation challenge and each of these things will have further details. There's a survey in here, um, checklist. When you're done, well, for this week, this is as far as we're going to go. This will take you enough time. You do not have to sit down and do this all at once. Um, I do want to point out the checklist for, for basics here. Did you watch the top video? Read the introduction and those things. Did you visit the key vocabulary Quizlet? And we will be using Quizlets. These are part of the 2.1, the survey. And then we, as you can see, it keeps going down. And once you're done, you'll click the share button from your, and I guess I, let me back up for a second here. When you first open this, where it goes file, make a copy. And then it'll give you a spot to store it. I'm not sure if it'll create that folder for you. If not, you might want to create a folder in your Google Drive and you'll see, you can see me on how to do that. And you'll save it. I would put your name. So if this was mine, I'd be Mike um, copy of 21T4S. Um, that way I know whose it is. At the very end, you're going to click share. It'll bring it up. So then you would type in M Ireland. There, and then send. That way I will get a notification that you're sharing it with me. Um, and I can look and say, oh, awesome, they have a copy. The assessments on these will by and large just be you knowing the skills and being able to show your skill level. Um, there won't be a lot as far as formal tests. This is not something that you will see every day maybe once or two sessions a week, as it's important for you to have that time to do your academic subjects as well. And we try not to make this an exceptionally long school day. If you need to spread out a lesson over a few days, that is okay. Um, some of these should only take you 15 or 20 minutes, but if you sit down and do it a little bit and you come back and say, you know what, I've gotten to the survey, I'm gonna come back up here and do the PLGs, which are your personal learning goals. Um, you see that SMART, and these are good things to remember even in your academic subjects, to be honest. You can kind of work your way through. Um, you are a Google Drive user, just so you know, when you get to that point. Um, your roadmap, you see some things here, and controlling the volume on your device. Uh, you should make sure you know how to do that. This one will go pretty fast. Um, even though it shows up as two different days on this first week of technology and using 21 things, once you've completed it once, you do not need to complete it a second time. Um, as the year goes on, once we get through Thanksgiving, um, we will probably try and see where we're at as a group and motivate ourselves to kind of say, okay, you have this amount of time to get through these and you schedule it as you want. My goal for us is to get through around seven. But if you're like, you know what, I really wanna learn about social networking. Um, and this is probably a little bit older, but your parents are cool with it. And working with you, learning about life online, social networks and society, you could do this on your own. Um, these are good skills to have. Um, if you have any questions, please email me at mireland at sagchipschool.net and I'd be happy to try to help you out. This is my first year teaching this material, so we'll, there'll be some learning 
going on on both ends. And that's the awesome part about education is we're all learning together. And I hope you all have a minute to get and continue on with this lesson by watching that video and working your way down and bye, my pee.